I've been listening to Christian music uh, since probably about college. That's when I discovered it, and there were Christian artists that really built me. They built my faith. Um, being dyslexic and ADD, I didn't really read the Bible much for myself, so when I would hear somebody like Stephen Curtis Chapman singing that his about his grace being sufficient for us, or, or that he's going to finish what he started in me, that, that made me want to go find the verses and figure out where it came from so I could know more about Jesus. And really, Christian music connected me with God and connected me to His Word. But if I ever got in the room where I had the chance to meet somebody like that, it ain't gonna happen. Because I would never know what to say. I'd see one of those guys across the room, I was like, I'm not walking up, I'm not walking up. So I just sort of stay back. So it's really funny now that I am singing and traveling. People are coming to meet me and want to introduce themselves. And I always love the ones that are a little nervous because that's the kind of guy that I am. I was in Walmart and a guy walked up to me and he seriously said, dude, I just want you to know I'm your favorite band. And I thought, I like this guy. And I said, well, well thanks, man. And he goes, dude, one of your songs, man, it just, it really changed my life. Uh, I was driving, I was on 75 and I was going to work and I knew I wasn't where I was supposed to be and your song came on, dude, I just had to pull off at an exit and I just had, I got some things right and I've really been walking with God. And he said, that song, it was, oh, and he was trying to think of the name of the song. And I thought, well, I'll help you. And I said, well, what was it about? And he was like, well, it was, it was about a God, like his love. And I was like, okay. I was like, was it, who am I? And he goes, no, no, no. I was like, oh, okay. And he said, uh, I, he said, like the wind and the waves. I said, oh, like praise you in the storm. He's like, no, 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 no. I was like, okay, I'm not helping you anymore. I'm just gonna let you do this, right? So he started going through and trying to figure it out. He never could figure out the name of the song. And he gets to the end of this little conversation. And he says, man, I just, I can't remember all I know is that it was there when I needed it, and I'm closer to Jesus for it, and I just wanna thank you for that. And he left. And I'm walking through the aisles uh, of Walmart trying to think, oh, east to west? You know, what, what song could it have been? And the cool thing about that little moment for me is that it reminds me that I know my place in this. I know why I'm writing these songs. I know why I'm traveling from city to city. Because when you give me four minutes of your life and I get to talk to you, the last thing I want you to know about is me. You, you need to know about Jesus because I'm going home and I'm not going to be here later. And the people that always spoke the most to me were never the people that had it all together. They were the broken people. So my goal in a concert is I get to run a few laps with you on your race. I get to be a little part of your story. And if I only get an hour with you or two hours or four minutes, what else would I point to than something that will never leave? The people in the Bible, they, they never set out to be heroes. No one got up thinking, I want to be a hero. They got up thinking, I love God so much, I'll do whatever He says. And then anytime a chance came to step, they stepped. And then when people would come their way to give them praise, they'd say, whoa, 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 you got the wrong guy. If you're seeing me right now, you're seeing the wrong thing. Have you ever noticed that Paul and almost every letter he wrote would always say something like, you do remember that I was the scum of the earth, right? You do remember that I'm a train wreck, right? Please keep your eyes on what matters because people fall, God doesn't fall, right? The question I wanna ask with the song Only Jesus is the people that you work with, the people that you go to school with, the people that, that you spend your time with, are they really all in your life just to know you? Or has God planted you there on purpose to make Him known through your story? I'm a singer, somebody's a farmer, somebody's a nurse, but that's not why we're here. We're here to make God known through being a farmer or a singer or a nurse. Your story, your scars, that's how we point people to only Jesus. I, I don't wanna leave a legacy. I don't care if they remember me. Only Jesus